JBF Boxing, Kane Edgar. About three tonight here at Ring Wars is boxing over three two minute rounds of action. In the blue corner, we have Kian Edgar, JBF Boxing, in the all black. In the red corner, Cam Eaton from the Sleaford Fight. Academy with the red shorts. Both young men having their second boxing bout tonight. And both look to stay in the centre of the ring and already throwing combination work. Cam looking to work behind the jab. Kean throwing those straight left and right jab cross combinations. But it's a lively start to the round. Nice footwork. And again, looking to work behind the jab cam, but Kean caught him with that overhand right and did so again. That almost bolo right over the top. Caught cam twice. And you can hear Phil in Cam's corner saying, jab, 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 come on. And that's what Cam's looking to do, but Kean keeping subtle pressure on him. Now looking to work behind that jab cam. Throwing that right on the end of his work now. Big bolo right from Kean. Looks for it again. Cam responds. Gets him back to the centre of the ring. Oh, you can see Kean really looking to plant his feet and throw the heavy shots now. Just slightly telegraphed when he does that. When the shots are looser and lighter, they tend to be faster, but that big right did land. That said, the right hand came over the top and landed solidly. Now the right to the body just misses again with that right to the head. Good exchanges. Now pushing forward again, the straight of puncher of the two, Cam. But he's having trouble with that big right hand from Kean. Well, a good round, as I said, technically, I felt Cam probably the straighter puncher. But Kean got through consistently with that big right hand to cause his opponent problems. Nice straight punching from Cam. And later in the round, started to get his own right hand going. Round two or three. said both young men their second bout tonight and straight out the blocks again as in the first round you can see good straight technique from Cam here nice bobbing and weaving from Kean, and he's looking for that roll and throw to get that big right hand landing just like that and he fires in Gets the combinations going once he steps forward with that rolling style. Good stiff jab again from Cam. Rolling those shoulders, keeping that head moving. Nice technical bout this. Well matched again as you'd expect from Sean Burton. That right hand just clipping Cam, but he responds quickly. And you could hear the corner say to Kian, don't swing. That's why I said to you, the tighter of the two boxers is probably Cam. Kian does tend 
to swing with that big right, but it does land as it did there. Pushing out that jab once more, Cam. Now working the body and the head, nice movement from Cam to get away from that big right hand once more. Stiff jab, doubles up. Throws it a third time, just keeps it popping out. Looks to keep it going and then Kean takes those to step in and unload with his combination of the game. That big right, Cam saw it coming, but when he almost tripped into the referee, the next right landed. And sheer work rate with these big rights is giving Kean the edge here. He keeps firing forward and just letting these heavy punches go. Oh, and that right hand lands again as Cam gives ground. He's giving ground, throwing the jabs. But he is getting caught. Now looks to push forward. A little shimmy, throws his own right. He's actually better when he lets the double jab straight right go. But again, a heavy big right hand at the end. So for me, I've got the technically better boxer in the red corner, being under pressure and outworked in it heavily by the boxer in the blue corner. So I have got Kean ahead on my unofficial scorecard through work rate and those heavy rights. He needs to listen to his corner and just tighten up those punches. Third and final round, still a good competitive bout. It's a double jab straight right from Cam. And Kean tucks up tight, throws his own joke back. And there's that roll to throw and then when he gets in position, he looks to really fire off cleanly. But what I like there about Cam, he saw the danger and fired back immediately this time. Made it harder for Kean to stay in the pocket and just keep the shots flying, as he's doing again here. Oh, but there's the big right. Cam fires straight back. Oh, but it rocks his head once more. And now Cam looking to push forward with those straight jab cross combinations. Probably been his best round the third here. Stop Kean coming forward at will. He's had to think hard when he comes in because Cam has responded. A little turn there from Kean. Throws out the jab again. Cam, but that roll and throw style to let that big right hand go has worked for Kean throughout this bout. Nice movement and response from Cam, but has to eat another right hand. It's been an excellent bout though. Clock ticking on this one now. Looks for the straight jab, Cam. Kean pushing forward as he has done throughout the bout. That clubbing right he finds over the guard of Cam. Cam sticks out that jab once more. Tucks up tight. Kean almost over this one. And again, Kean just keeps. Flowing forward, chucks up, then throws the big right. Nice little turn from Cam, but Kean looks to keep him there. Hard three rounds, but for me, the blue corner. It was a split. I think they like the technical work from Cam, but Kean's work rate in that big right for me, the right decision.